going people, it's Amanda and today I'm gonna finally show you how I got the Apple's Touch Bar on my 2014 iMac. So if you're like me and you don't wanna buy the new MacBook that had the features, head on over to Google and look for the app called Duet Display. Click on their website and click to download. And from there, you can install it on your computer. And once you have it installed, it's gonna be up here in your status bar and you can mouse over it and you can select all your options and preferences. But the main thing I want you to notice here is touch bar enabled. So the first part of this is free, but to get the app on your iPad or iPhone, it is $9.99 right now. So my suggestion is try to get it when it's on sale. You will have to have your iPad or iPhone plugged in to your computer. And then from there, you just open the app and you're ready to go. So what about Windows users? If you are using Windows, no problem. Download the app to your PC. Again, you do have to have an iPad or iPhone and it will have to be hardwired plugged into your computer but from here if we pick up my phone and look at it you can use it for a touch screen which is gonna be kind of difficult just simply due to the tiny screen size but you will notice that the Apple touch bar is not there for that's for Macs only so here I am back on my iMac and I have my MacBook Pro 9.7 inch and you can see all the emojis here you can scroll through them it's super fun just using when you're texting or even on Twitter things like that it works just as the official one would in the new MacBook it works with predictive typing and all different types of apps, which I'll show you guys. Um, I just think that it's much better value to do it this way than actually paying for a new MacBook. So here are some of the ways you can use it. It works just like you've seen in some of the ads where it's going to be able to use all of your settings and it works in the same apps just like it would on the actual one on the computer. It's going to work in Final Cut Pro. Here you can see it's got all shortcuts based on which app you're on and even depending on where you have your mouse clicked on the screen, it's going to open up and offer different apps. Right now on my Mac, Safari is open and it brings up shortcuts to all of my favorite bookmarks and things like that. You can open up new tabs scroll through all this I really like it and if you notice it's basically the same distance as if I were using a MacBook um, here I'm using it to edit a photo in photos and I think it's really fun in this application you can scroll through your photos kind of hard to see them but it would be even if you were using it on the actual MacBook but you can select your photo you can click edit they have all the options right here you can pick whichever one you want to do and it's just kind of fun but again it's not necessary at this time because my brain just doesn't think to automatically use it my brain thinks to use the shortcuts and methods I've been using so I'm gonna to have to start focusing on using it so I think this is a super fun way to test out and have fun with the touch bar see if it's useful maybe you do want to get a MacBook after having this maybe you love it that much and you don't want to carry all these extra things around but for $10, if you can pick it up at that price, I think it's a no-brainer. Pick up the app, check it out. Super fun to play with, even if you don't find it that useful in your everyday workflow. So if you're someone who edits on the go with your MacBook, if you have an iPad, this adds a second display. And also, it allows touchscreen controls. Now, it's not super useful for editing or finer things, but super fun to have a touchscreen capability that we've all been waiting for. So if you guys found this video helpful, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.